everyone, this is Eileen from Eileen Stuffs and today we are going to be stuffing my cash from my October 15th paycheck. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I am a cash budgeter and stuffer here on YouTube who is focused on paying off debt and also building up emergency and sinking funds. So if that's something that sounds interesting to you and you haven't already, please consider subscribing below. So we are going to start with the budget. We'll review what my budget looks like for this paycheck and get right into the stuffing. And as soon as I said the picked up the cash i noticed i forgot my cash tray again so let me grab that real quick all right here we go let me grab my budget book i will link the budget video below if you saw my last video you'll know i talked about how my check was a little bit on the lower side that was definitely reflected in what i was able to stuff this time go ahead and zoom you in my paycheck came out to one thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars and seventy five cents i left out 300 for estimated taxes which brought me down to 1680. Then I had 12398 in rollover. The total for my budget is going to be $1,803.90. The internet always comes out of this paycheck, so that's $58. And then of course, this is the big one for credit and my car payment. My car is 475. I had several credit cards to pay. My Navient student loan, which is still sitting at 5061. I have my hospital bill, which I had said in the last video, but this is one of two. So that next month in November will be the last month that we have to worry about paying this bill. The other one's paid off now, so I'm so excited. That is going to be an extra 230 a month on this paycheck now without those medical bills. I only took out 30 for violin because I still have 30 cash and I'm going to be pausing my violin lessons for the holidays just to save that money since I know that I'm going to lose some work, but we are going to pay for two more sessions. I did buy some face cream that I like to use and so that was $22.20. Deducting all that left me with $481.22. It was a little bit lower than I like and I didn't leave my usual $300. I decided to leave $225.22 in the bank which left me with 256 for stuffing plus the 30 cash. The total amount we have today to work with is $286. I am focusing on the emergency funds though, even though it's less money, I still put a huge chunk of that to the emergency fund. I skipped some of the binders that have kind of paused on the sinking fund binder to build up that 1K and the emergency fund. It still continues to be my number one goal here. But we're gonna go ahead and get right into the stuffing now that we know what we're working with. You will count this and this should equal $286. We have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, you have 86 here, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. Nice. Now I just realized when I put the bills like that, I just smushed everything out of order. <laughs> so let me, let me take a minute for me to put that back together. I saw myself doing it like, oh girl, you totally just messed up the order of your cash. <laughs> That's okay. We'll figure it out. Got ones. These are all the ones. They should all be together. Oh yeah, and then just the 20s in the back. Okay, that was funny. Ones, 20s, and our 50s. Grab my wallet. Oh, change jar. Man, every time. We don't need this. Literally every time I forget something. I know there's a good chunk of change in here, so I definitely need my change jar. Let's see what's happening. There's like several dollars of change in here this time, which is cool. Nice, you got a good chunk of change in there. And I do believe that there might be some money floating here, but not a lot. Like personal, oh. I hope that's shaky it didn't come through. That was the light. So personal just has a dollar. And then I do have my 30 still in hobbies. But like I said, I'm going to keep this in here because I only took out 30 from the budget. So that'll give me my 60 for the next two lessons before I put them on pause for the holidays. And I think that's it. Okay, we are going to get right into the stuffing. Home and groceries this week gets 125. So I had 50, 100, 20, 
five. We have hobbies. We're going to add in another 30. So now we have 20, 40, 50, 60 for the next two weeks for October, other than Halloween. The other one that's getting stuffed is miscellaneous. So I just put in a 50 in miscellaneous. 20, 40, 50 to kind of be like a catch-all just to have just wallet, basically cash in your wallet because I wasn't, I feel like I was just working with such low numbers. 20, 40, 50. That is it for the wallet. We are stuffing some of our black binder because again, this is top priority binder and also the emergency fund is in here. But let me throw this dollar in the dollar jar side. Well, first we have debt. Debt is getting built up again. Today we are adding just three to debt. One, two, three. And debt now has eight. Five, six, seven, <laughs> five. Six, seven, eight. I'm also unstuffing some envelopes today to help pay for my medicine. Bills is also getting built up again. We are down to five and we're also adding three. Three for bills. For a minute, I forgot what I was doing. One, two, three. Bills also now has five, six, seven, eight. Medical is getting unstuffed today because my medicine refill is going to be due in a couple weeks. I think it's like probably going to be next week or the week after. So I'm just going to put meds. We're going to minus out. So we should have 26, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. We are back to zero for medical. Emergency fund. Emergency fund is getting stuffed. It's not getting its usual 20. It's going to get 10 today because now I'm at $75 left in my budget. I am filming this on the 15th because I just got my paycheck yesterday and did my my budget video. So I'll film this one right after so I can have the money in my wallet. You'll see this on Wednesday, but I am writing the 15th because that's the day it is today. 10 bucks. Sinking fund part of our emergency fund now has, I get excited every time I start to count this, 120, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 5, 10, 11. So 211 in this part, which is awesome. I wrote savings as an unstuffed because my medicine... I, it used to be a hundred and like two went down to 99. And then the last time I believe it was only like 95 or 90. So I don't know. It seems like the cost is going down for the synth Roy, which is great, but I do try to get like a hundred and that way, if it's extra, then I have extra. So I have a few envelopes marked as unstuffed and I just wasn't sure what they had. I had savings marked as unstuffed, but it only has $2. So I'm just, that's really not going to help. I'm just going to leave that in there. Everything else is going to not get stuffed. We're going to move on. The blue binder, I completely skipped this paycheck and we have the white binder. We have some money to put in and then two more envelopes to check for unstuffing for my medicine. If I can't make it to a hundred, then the rest will just come out of the miscellaneous I left in my checking account. I decided to put $5 in Christmas just because the holidays are coming and I do have a lot of presents to buy. I do need to start making this a priority. Just, I'm like, why does that look weird? But it's because I put them in the wrong spot. <laughs> All right, so yeah, the 15th, we're doing five. Christmas has 10, 20, 
25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Okay. Ugh. That's very low for the fact that it's the middle of October, but hopefully so we can get at least a few hundred. Now that might not happen, but we'll see what we can do. Two dollars. Our car fund now has 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Travel, I did give a dollar to because like I, last time I didn't stuff this one, I was like, I told myself I'd always put in something. I am giving it a dollar. I mean, oh, that was the, f the only thing time I've unstuffed this so far was my Florida trip. But yeah, we're trying to build it back up. And we have our dollar. Our travel envelope now has 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Let's see. Family is getting money since I am using this to pay my mom back. And I'm trying to get her another chunk of money so I can mail to her. We gave it five. That's my family envelope now has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Oh, once again, $1 shy of going to the next bracket. I don't know what to call it when it's like a 10 thing. And then I have Secret Stash and Whoops as unstuff for my medicine. Again, I'm kind of questioning. Actually, I think there might be a, a good chunk of money in here. The closest I can get to the $95 that's great because that way that's less money that comes out of my miscellaneous fund. So it says this has 19, five, the fill is horrible, five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so yeah, we'll take the 19 because that's substantial. Very secret stash, you always get unstuffed, but that's kind of what you're here for, I guess, to be there when I need that extra cash. We are down to zero again. And let's see what's happening with the whoops thing since I'm saying, whoops, I didn't save enough money in my medical folder. So now I got a pool from you and it definitely looks like it's worth it. Let's see. And here we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, so that's a good chunk of money. We are down to zero in our whoops again but it's okay i count and see what i came up with for my medicine i'm going to finish this should be 50 dollars for challenges and again really emergency fun i'm gonna put this to the side though we have 20 40 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52. oh no we should not have 52 we should have 50. Oh, I forgot to stuff two in taxes. I don't even remember talking. Okay, that was the fastest I ever figured out what I did wrong. And I totally remember skipping right over the taxes. So that'll, let me just, you can go up here. You stay here. You need to come out. There's $3, that's from last time. Two for our taxes. No, oh. and this is, to help pay for estimated taxes and then also to pay for when getting my taxes done because that's like $186. One, two, three, four, five dollars. Okay, I'm glad that was so easy to figure out. It was helpful that there wasn't as many envelopes that I stuffed this time. Now we should have 50. 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Perfect. And, uh-oh. <laughs> 
I don't know if you guys saw that, but as I grabbed this, that one of my envelopes just totally fell over the edge. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, I'm going to tuck this in my savings challenge. We just stuffed the money that was in here. So we're going to save this one and combine it with my paycheck from November 1st and do another stuffing. Continues to be a big chunk of money that doesn't fit in the envelope, but I need to do a bill condensing. And that is coming up. Last step. Let's see how much we were able to pull from our envelopes to help me pay for my medicine, which if you're new, you don't know, I take Synthroid. I have Hashimoto's. That prescription is like 95 a month. I And I've had people ask me, why do I not just take the generic since the generic is $4, but I didn't do all good on the generic. I did a lot better on the Synthroid. Also, I like that it's more consistent with the thyroid level. So I, it's for me, it's worth paying the money. And that's why I just had a lot of symptoms and I the Synthroid seems to be working better for my body than the generic one did all right these are all ones I feel like I'll get pretty close to what I need and then I won't have to pull so much from my checking account which will be nice since all right we have saved 10 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67 awesome that pays for most of the medicine let me put it in my wallet i'll still have to pull out 30 something from my checking account but that's okay this is a nice chunk of money to add to it all right and that is super thick <laughs> you guys we are done for today i hope you enjoyed this video it wasn't as exciting with the sinking funds but as we know we are on a mission here to get that one thousand dollar emergency fund to get that medical bill done and then focus on other things so overall it was okay as long as i have the money i need to pay my bills i'm good thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're having a good week and i will see you in my next video bye, bye.